If you're interested in working on your business, if you're interested in making it better, apply to the Minnesota Cup. I really do think that the, the mentorship and the feedback from everyone who's involved in it will really improve your business. From the, from the first step, actually going through the process is always a good idea. It gives you, it makes you put down and write stuff that you have in your head. So it makes you organize it, it makes you write it down. When you do that, you automatically see, hey, here's something else I need to do, or here's something else I should be thinking about, or here's an area I haven't thought about enough. Um, but just getting it on paper, I think is always helpful. And then I would just always apply. I think, um, you know, the net, the judges in particular, but the mentors for sure, they're only interested in helping you. And they're interested in helping you however you would find it most useful and wherever you are, whatever stage you're at. So if you're, you know, just starting out, there's people who are really interested in that part of it and they're willing to help you and, you know, open their networks. If you're farther along and you're looking for growth plans, there's people who have done almost everything that you can think about in the group and they're happy to give, you know, advice or connections or any of those things. So my advice is always just apply. And if it, and if it doesn't go how you want it, apply the next year because the learnings are great. And we often say to people, you're too early this time, or I know that next year it's going to be amazing. And we encourage people to come back because we know that they're going to go even further. Either you're ready to win. You've been working on your idea. You think that you're a great position to enter the Minnesota market, take us to the next level and really can inspire a winning team. Other teams are at the beginning of their journey or have a gap um, inside of what they're really trying to achieve and can leverage the resources, skills of volunteers, of judges, of mentors within Minnesota Cup, who can really help you hone in and focus and bring your business to the next level. Even if it doesn't, even if you don't think that you are at a point to win, it's still really, really valuable. And the ability to work with people from this diverse set of backgrounds is rare and difficult to find. So I'd encourage you to apply and really see how it can help you advance. The other thing is, is that there's a serious benefit about doing the application itself. So, I really discourage people from talking themselves out of applying if they have at that point where they've got a little bit of, they've done some testing on it, they think that it really makes sense. Um, because just the process of making it succinct and all of the components that that the application requires, is it's just good practice. Even if you don't make it to the next stage, um, it gets you farther down the road. I, I think as a resource where Minnesota Cup kind of stands apart from many other supporting services for entrepreneurs is the ability is really it's really the ability to get feedback from a variety of experts. You know, it can be it can be, you know, both lawyers and accountants, but it can be successful entrepreneurs or fund managers like myself. And so I think the your ability to sort of get free advice, it you know, so use the Minnesota Cup process. Even if you if you end up not winning the competition, and most people won't, you know this is a chance for you to get free advice and guidance, you know, by way of this sort of feedback loop of what people are really thinking about your startup.